Wayne Motts, the Chief Executive Officer here at the National Civil War Museum in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. And this is a seed, touch, and feel moment brought to you by the National Civil War Museum for the 155th anniversary of the Battle of Gettysburg. The document I'm holding from the archival collection here at the National Civil War Museum was a printed order from Union General John Buford the head of the Federal Cavalry in the Battle of Gettysburg on July 1st, and the order I'm holding was printed June 30th, 1863, right after he arrived in Gettysburg. It's probably the first order he cut, and it basically says that the sale of spiritus liquor to the troops is prohibited, and the giving liquor away to the troops is also strictly forbidden. So basically, Buford is closing down the town bars not allowing the distribution of alcohol to its men. Uh, and you can see that it's from the Star Printing Office, which is right off the square in downtown Gettysburg, about a block from where General Buford's Union Army Cavalry Headquarters will be in town the day before the battle, which was the famed Eagle Hotel. General Buford's troops will defend the ridges west of Gettysburg on July 1st, 1863. Buford's men will do a great job delaying the Southern soldiers as they approach to Gettysburg. By the afternoon, Buford's men will go to either end of the Federal line, but the Confederate pressure will be too great for the Union troops. The Union Army will give up the western edge of town, the northern ed edge of town, and they'll be driven back to Cemetery Hill, where eventually Robert E. Lee's troops are defeated on July 3rd, 1863. Buford, one of the best cavalry officers in the Federal Army, 37 years old at the time of the battle, a native Kentuckian, offered a commission in the Confederate forces and turned it down. He died of disease on December 16, 1863, and General John Gibbon, his, one of his best friends, a Union general, said he was the best cavalryman I ever saw.